That ain't gonna fit. This thing's too small. Huh, I guess it's time for an upgrade. Hello, welcome to Topper Machine, I'm Josh Topper. So, my tumbler's just too small. And I really do use the tumbler a lot. So, today is new machine day. We got a new piece of equipment. And here it is. This is a giant GB3 vibratory tumbler. Much larger than my little puny one there. It holds about 200 pounds of media. That one holds about 20, 30. <laughs> so definitely a much bigger unit. So I just bought this uh, from an industrial surplus place. Um, and I'm very impressed with the quality of it. And one of the things about it is I looked at many different units of these things online and did a lot of research and I found several of them for sale, but most of the manufacturers were out of business. Giant still exists. And so I bought this knowing that they still exist. You can get parts from them. And I got it in, I reached out to them and I bought all of my tumbling media from them. So we got everything, it's in really good shape. The liner's got a few little marks in it, but overall it's in great condition. Um, there is a really cool feature about this. There's this lever right here, and you flip this lever down, and it flips this little flapper up, and the media is coming around this way. It comes up this ramp and separates the parts from the media, so really cool. So. What we're going to do is I've actually got a couple of parts I want to tumble today and we're going to go ahead and I've, I've done a temporary wire job. I just put a cord end on there with some wire nuts. Um, I am eventually going to build a new base for this that's forkable, a much heavier one. But for today, we'll run it on the pallet. Um, I'm going to build a new control box for it with a timer. Um, I have a new digital timer for it, but we're not going to do that today. And this unit also has the um, liquid tank that um, our system on it so you got a pump down here that pumps in a liquid and it keeps the dust down but it's also a corrosion inhibitor and here's the drain to drain it back to the a tank we're just going to set it up with a bucket um, but we're not going to do that today we're just going to get it going tumble those few parts i got to do um, that are going to the customer and show the machine in operation and then eventually when there's more time we'll build the base we'll do all the the upgrades to it that i want to do and get this thing ready to go all right so here is our part that we need to tumble and i make these up um i had a whole bar made up um to all the specs of the groove and everything and then i cut them off to length uh finish drilling them there's one hole that goes through for a bolt to lock this in and then uh, we tumble them to deburr and all that because there's a lot of angles here. It's a lot of work to, t to deburr these. So I'm going to go ahead, drill the hole that we need in each one, and then we'll go fill the tumbler with the tumbling media and get that all ready to go and throw them in and tumble them. All right, so I'm all set up here. We're going to use a little of our anchor lube. Let's put a spot there. Um, I'm running a little slower just because I don't want any drill wander. And we have to drill all the way through.
All right, so we got our holes drilled. There's quite a burr on there, if you can see it. Um, so now we'll go ahead and let's get that tumbler filled up with media and start tumbling and see how she does. All right, so I moved it over here, um, this side of the shop, so I can get it closer to a power cord. Um, so you're supposed to bolt these down to the floor, and I really don't have that luxury here in the shop. It's too small of a building. Um, and I want it to be mobile, so I'm gonna build a new base for it. But for right now, today, we're just gonna run it on the pallet and see how it does. Um, at least I'll be able to tumble my parts. And if I can't because it's on this pallet, then we have to build that base. But uh, let's get the media in there and see what's what we got. Uh, there's already some media in there. Well, there's some parts in there. Huh, whoever the previous owner was of this machine had some parts in there. We'll just leave them in there and let them polish a bit. Here's the media that the previous owner was using and I ordered up from Giant this stuff. It's uh, ceramic and it's got a lot more edge to it so it should work really well for what I'm doing. Um, so let's go ahead and fill this thing up and turn it on and see see how it runs All right, I got all the media in there, and actually, if you guys are interested in learning more, Giant Finishing is on YouTube. They do have videos of their machines. Now, uh, the way these things are built is there is a shaft that runs through the center here, and it comes down, there's an offset weight down underneath, and it's mounted on springs. So, now, with that, there's the power switch down below. Let's power this thing up and see what happens. And I'll be ready to shut it off real quick if she starts dancing around. Well, it looks like it's running pretty good on the pallet, a um, little vibration, but we'll build a new base with some rubber feet eventually. Um, just to get by today to get this job done, we're going to run it as is, so let's throw the parts in. So here's the parts I just made, we'll put those in, and this is a part I just want to try it in here to deburr it, or uh, take the rust off. So let's see what happens with that. Alright, so it's been running about an hour now, and obviously this pallet is causing me some issues. It's bouncing, but definitely rolling good. Let's, uh, let's flip the lever and wreck the stuff up.
is the part I put in there to deburr, clean up, uh, get the rust off. It looks like it needs a little more time. Here's our first piece. And there's our second piece. Alright, just go over our first piece here, inspect it, and it looks pretty good. Square corners, most of the burr's gone. I see right there, I see it needs a little more time because there's a burr that's rolled over, but I got it with my finger here. That's from the saw. Um, so I'll throw that one back in. Let's take a look at the other one here quick. Yeah, same thing. I got that little bit of burr that rolled over. But otherwise, looking real good. The bird, the hole feels good. The burr on the inside feels good. It's looking real good. But I'll throw these back in for a little longer. I'll go over and look at the piece that was in the tumbler when I bought it. Boy, that polished up nice. Not really a burr on there at all. The rust is almost all gone except for in the holes. That's yeah, doing a good job. So we'll leave this thing go for a while longer. We'll come back and check on it. Um, I'll throw that back in. And uh, just see what it does. Give it another half hour. So that went really, really well. Um, so this part I threw in here, this is part of an antique uh, water pump for a water wagon for use with a steam engine. Um, it was all rusty when I threw it in there. I wanted to clean it up, um, see how it would work for, to eliminate bead blasting, sand blasting, and I think this will work really well. I'll clean it up enough, we can paint it. Um, that's, that's really nice. I'm very happy with the finish. And then our parts here. Those look nice. Those are very nice. Um, knocked all the burrs off, uh, polished them up a little bit. Perfect. They're ready to go to the customer. So nice, nice uh, addition for the shop here. And then I did see one of our pieces fell out and that one's looking nice and polished as well. I don't know what this is. Came with the machine. So Awesome. Worked out really well. I'm very happy with it. We're going to build a different base. I know you probably saw it was bouncing like this. Um, when I would stand on the wooden pallet here like this, she would start to level out. So it's definitely hopping um, because of the pallet, the vibration. So I'm going to go ahead and build a different base for it. Um, a forkable base with some leveling feet um, because I don't have room to keep it you know, in one permanent place. So we'll just be moving it in and out of the shop as needed around. Um, we'll get the coolant system hooked up or the, the solution um, that'll keep the dust down because it did get a little dusty in here. Uh, I've always had that problem with the little tumbler. So we'll get the solution, the, it's a rust inhibitor and that should really make this thing work amazingly well. Um, I've already got two of my customers that are all excited about the fact that I've got this now. Um, I used to do a lot of tumbling for them on the with the small tumbler. Time consuming, slow, horrible, 
this will make life so much better for all of us. So it's a great addition to the shop. Very excited to have it here. And with that, until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.